Okay, so Monte Carlo, which is kind of like, uh, you remember Hannah Montana, which worked on that Batman formula that somebody can look like something, and then they, or Superman, and then they can put on a pair of glasses, they look like a different person. So Hannah Montana, by day, she's a schoolgirl, by night, she's a rock star, nobody notices. Okay, best of both. You get the best of both worlds, right? So <laughs> you did, so we did say no more singing. That wasn't singing, that was just doing okay, dramatic. Well, it wasn't singing before. Three so o'clock, this is a sort of, you know, teen girl orientated, uh, you know, drama comedy with Selena Gomez, who is a young American who dreams of going to Paris, France. And she can only go to Paris, France if she goes with her half sister because uh, to whom she's been told she had there's a clip coming up. Okay, here's her talking to her mother about the fact that she's going to Paris, France, and she but she wants to go with her friend, not with her sister. Mom, Emma is my friend. I appreciate that, Grace, and I appreciate that Meg is not your first choice, but knowing that you'll be with a responsible adult. Meg is whatever comes after adult. Be generous. Mom, I have been saving for this. This is what's gotten me through the last four years, imagining myself standing on top of the Eiffel Tower and having it all just make me different. Honey, it's not going to turn you into a whole different person. Thank goodness. Kind of partial to the one I've got. You found a whole new life with Robert. And I'm happy for you. Just let me go find mine without Meg. So he played that because of course that features Andy McDowell who of course rose to superstardom initially in uh, Sex, Lies and Videotape which refers back to Stephen's side of it. I'm tying yes. the whole programme together as a sort of scene. So the story is she goes to Paris, France with the friend and the sister. When she gets there it turns out that she is mistaken for somebody whom she, she looks exactly like who is an heiress, a spoilt brat heiress, a kind of Paris Hilton type well only up to a certain point. Yes. So, so somebody's overprivileged, who, who apparently is meant to be doing a charity auction. However, being a spoilt brat heiress, obviously played by the same actress, um, she doesn't want to do the charity auction, so she goes off somewhere else, leaving our intrepid heroine to step into her shoes. She says, I can't do this, but of course, actually, if she doesn't do it, then the, uh, the, the, you know, the, 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 the auction won't go ahead and, and terrible things will happen, that'll be bad. So it is essential, if you'd sat down with a computer and you'd put in the constituent elements of Hannah Montana and Freaky Friday and Princess Diaries and gone, you know, shift, alt, extra, go, it would have come up with this. Because it is, it, it is basically all those bits of movies that you've seen before, and Leighton Meester's in it, who's quite fun, who I think the last time we saw her was in Country Strong, and it's complete, flimsy whimsy nonsense and it does work on that you know that basic silly idea it's the prince and the pauper idea you know they look the same they can swap they can change only the difference is that one of them doesn't know that that's what they're doing and there's lots of glamorous scenery there's lots of monte carlo there's lots of there's lots of the way that the two uh, actors are, are distinguished the two roles are distinguished is that one of them talks in the american accent the other talks in a british accent that's a bit like dick van dyke <laughs> but that's but that's a sort of that young princess sort of australian was it a bit australian was it <laughs> Corp Limey, no, I mean, it's not Corp <laughs> With the touch of posh. South African. It has to, yes, yeah, a little bit posh. I can't do it. I actually can't do the accent. But actually, what I would like to do now is to see that movie redubbed with Danny Dyer doing that voice. And that's who she pretends to be. And then Catherine Tate's in it. And Catherine Tate, you know, it, every moment Catherine Tate's on screen, it's Catherine Tate and she sort of dominates the movie. You think that's fine. I mean, it's it's whimsical nonsense. It doesn't have any of the staying power of Princess Diaries or any of those things. And it is all over the place and doesn't make any sense. But it's kind of passable, passable waffle whilst it's there. It's innocuous.